Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode. I'm your host, Richard Kai Mosca. Today, our guest is Nelson Gonzalez. Nelson is Senior Vice President of EWM Realty International and number one realtor in Miami-Dade County for the year 2015. Nelson has sold over $1 billion in luxury real estate throughout his career spanning 25 plus years. He helps luxury home buyers and sellers sell, invest, and purchase high-end waterfront properties in Miami Beach. Welcome to the show, Nelson. Thank you, Rick. Hope you're well. I'm very good. Thank you so much. All right. Now, Nelson, to begin, could you tell our audience what led you into real estate? You know, was it something you always knew you wanted to do, or did you just happen to stumble into it? Um, frankly speaking, I did sort of stumble into it a little bit, uh, but backing up a little bit, my, my father, when I was a kid, used to buy and sell land, mostly raw land, and I used to just sort of tag along, and, and you know, so I had a little bit of interest in it, and I knew at some point in my life I wanted to get into it, but, but uh, uh, the way I came to the beach was I, was I was introduced to a company at the time was, was uh, Wimbish, Wimbish Realty, and <clears throat> came to the beach and, and had set up an interview, and I, as soon as I opened the door, uh, to the office, something just clicked and said, you know, this is it. This is what I want to do. So sold the house the first week and the rest is history. Great. Now, if I'm correct, you specialize in high-end waterfront homes and condos in Miami Beach. So could you tell our audience how you help your clients when it comes to buying and selling of these luxury properties? First and foremost, I listen intently to their needs, and then we go from there. I ask them uh, many questions about their family, if they're boaters, the uh, size of the boat, uh, if they're looking for something in perfect moving condition, or will they do work to a house. I just ask them a battery of questions, and depending on how they answer my questions, I, I sort of try to guide them, and I always try to place them in the best possible position for the future because they they are generally thinking about immediate uh, and I try to look into the future a little bit uh, if they have let's say for example a growing family uh, they have you know one or two children and they're going to have they're planning on having two or three or four children um, so I, I I look at the sort of at the crystal ball for in the future and try to put them in the best possible position today for the future. Yeah, that sounds great. So in other words, you take more of a personal interest in a long-term vision when dealing with your clients. Absolutely. In my 25 plus years in real estate, I'm, I'm still in touch with the very first person I, I've ever sold a house to. And I've, I've, number one, they've recommended clients, many clients to me, and, and I've also sold them personally. I mean, I've s several uh, or many, actually, uh, clients I've sold many properties to, whether their, their needs change or, or, or situations change. And, and, you know, so they stay with me for, for, for many years. And then, of course, they refer me clients as well. Great. And can you talk about what personal attributes, traits, or qualities do you think have contributed the most to your success, and how did you develop these? Uh, number one is trust. Uh, I try to develop a rapport with the buyer or the seller, and and because I've been doing this for quite some time, uh, basically I, I try to uh, – I have – a lot of knowledge. I educate them. I try to keep them uh, basically in the loop of everything. And at the end of the day, they, they trust me to, to advise them to make the, the right decision uh, either, either now or, or, or down the road. So I would say trust is the number one um, 
attribute trait quality that that I have. That sounds good. Now, it seems with any level of success, there will always be some adversity and hurdles that will pop up. So please share, what were some of the major adversities and trials you had to overcome to achieve your goals? Uh, the most the adversities or trials and tribulations are basically with the changing market conditions. Um, so I, I think, you know, you just have to, again, going back to that crystal ball and nobody really has a crystal ball, but you can, uh, you know, we as a company and myself, we track the market and, and see, try to try to look a little bit into the future as much as possible to see if we can somehow, um, see where the market is going uh and we can only do that from looking into the past and see where the market has been um and 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 see any undulations in the market and and try to um try to predict a little bit into the future uh and and try to you know guide the clients into towards their their goal whatever that may be oh, that sounds that sounds really good now did you have any roadblocks though that like put a major damper on how you tried to deal with your clients and went in talking to these potential buyers and sellers? Well, as you know, life has many obstacles and, and, and changes. Uh, so, you know, things change over time and, 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 you know, any obstacles that we may have had, we, again, we try to, to adjust with any market, changes or, or people's, uh, keep in mind this residential real estate is a very, very personal, um, purchase for, for someone. So it, it really sort of comes from the heart and someone, you know, has to, uh, love uh, a house and it's got it. Number one, it's got to work for them. Um, so we just try to sort of adjust and, and again, studying the market and knowing the market extremely, extremely well. Um, I've had situations where we've had, you know, five or six appointments set up. And then, you know, in, uh, by the third appointment, uh, the client changes and we have to sort of adjust with them midstream. And I call my office and speak to my assistant and we change the appointments and, and we try to get them into a little bit more of what they're, uh, of what they're looking for. Oh, okay. So, so what kept you going despite these obstacles? You know, why didn't you give up? Was it just your nature, your personality, your business ethic? What kept you going? Why didn't you give up? Uh, I'm a very driven person and I don't ever give up on anything. And, and maybe it's from my sports background back in it, when I was a kid and, and in high school and college. Uh, but, but I'm very, very competitive and, and, and very driven. And, and in this business, when, especially which the best part of my business is negotiating deals. And that's something that I absolutely love and have a passion for. And, and so when we're negotiating deals and, and when these deals are quite large and the, and the multi-million dollar level, uh, they're very, very challenging. And that's the part that I, that I really love. So, uh, I don't give up on, on deals and, and, you know, we just try to, again, adjust to, to any, uh, changing negotiations and that sort of thing. But, but, you know, I don't really let anybody sleep until the deal is absolutely done. Okay. I can, I can feel the passion. I can hear it in your voice. So I know why you're successful. Now, could you let our listeners know in, in a little bit in depth on this one, what do you think is the biggest misconception or myth that people have about purchasing or selling a luxury home? that this business is easy uh, or, or staying su successful in this business over the long run is, is, is easy. This is, this is, I guess many uh, jobs or, 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 or careers and that sort of thing are, are, you know, you just, people, the misconception is basically that this job is easy. You just show a property and, and, and basically they buy it and it's over. That's, that's wrong. I mean, there's, there's so much behind the scenes, uh, follow up and, and, and follow up with, I mean, the easy part is getting it to contract. The hardest part is getting it from contract to closing because there's so many 
moving parts in, in reference to inspections, surveys, dealing with lawyers, dealing with the buyers, de- dealing with different personalities of the buyers and the sellers. So uh, this is not an easy business. This is a 24-7 business, and, and it's something that you just have to stay on top of and and <clears throat> and basically just stay on top of uh, all the time until a deal is done. Now, that sounds great. Now, it's interesting. So tell me, now, what do you feel is the best way you market yourself as a real estate professional for continual growth? Basically results. Um, at, at the end of the day, this is a very, very result uh, oriented business. Uh, and, and I've had fairly good success over the years. And, and I let people uh, know that, that I've had success. And of course my reputation is, is of being very fair and honest and, and, um, and basically, you know, people know that and word of mouth and it's in the realtor community and, and it's in the, in the Miami and Miami beach community as well. Um, so that's, that's basically it. It's, it's, it's results and I get it. Sounds good. Now this has been all great information. Now let me ask you, how can someone who needs a real estate agent find out more about you and how you can help? Uh, my website, which is nelsongonzalez.com. Uh, all my information is there, and, and or they can swing by my office on Miami Beach on Arthur Godfrey Road. Um, I'm here, <laughs> unfortunately, till till late hours in in the evening sometimes. And uh, but but you know, nelsongonzalez.com has all my information. That sounds good. So I guess um, being a real estate agent is a twenty four seven job. You got to you got to love it. Yeah. You got to have passion to be good at it. Absolutely, and then and I think that that really separates uh, the successful ones from from the not successful ones. I mean, I I've been doing this for over twenty five years already, and and I wake up in the morning and I look forward to to you know going to work every single morning. So I I love what I do with a passion and. And I have three children and I tell them the same thing, you know, in, in life, you have to love what you do or you'll get bored and, and, you know, you'll end up hating something. But, uh, so whatever you get into, uh, love what you do and you will be successful and money's not always the greatest motivator. Uh, it isn't to me. I mean, I, I, I have to, uh, love what you love, what you do every single day in order to be successful and success will just come. I guess um, doing business in Miami Beach is quite, you know, that helps you get motivated to get up every day. I mean, you get some great views there, you got some great properties, and I'm sure that is one of the things that keeps you going. Am I correct on that? You're absolutely correct. I, we live in paradise here, and we have great weather and uh, sun pretty much all the time, and uh, and you know, we're a very very international community also, so we meet incredible people from all around the world all the time. So, you know, it's like you're on vacation every day. That's the only way to work. Okay, Nelson, this has been a very enlightening interview. And I'd like to personally thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to share your real estate experiences and knowledge with our listeners. It's been my pleasure. And thank you so much for having me. Okay. And hopefully I'll be on again soon, Nelson. How does that sound? Thank you. All, all right. right. Good luck in the future. Thanks. All right, bye-bye. Bye, Nelson. We will also have this interview on our site, businessinnovatorsradio.com, with a link below this interview to Nelson's site and any other contact information he may have. But definitely reach out to Nelson. Until our next show, have a great day, and I look forward to talking to you soon. This is Richard Kai Mosca. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.